Hey girls and guys, it is Anna from Style Let's Play and today we are going to be reading more of Marriage by Law, episode 6 to be exact. In the last episode, things were actually going quite well for the newlywed couple until the dad walked in being his nosy little self and tried to call him out for something that they weren't even doing anything wrong. So let's go ahead and get right into it and see what kind of drama is going to unfold this time. Ugh, there's President Quartz, Mr. Grumpy Pants. I just knew it. You two haven't been taking this marriage seriously. Well, of course they can't take it seriously when you're breathing down their neck. Is that why you and Mom are really here? To check up on us? Well, you've been prone... Well, you've proven to me that we certainly needed to. Darius, can you do anything right? Ooh, this is when I should just walk on in there and start getting real sassy with Mr. President Quartz. You clearly can't be trusted to run a marriage or a country. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Look, Darius is one of my favorite people in the world, but he is my husband now, so I am going to have his back 100%. With all due respect, Darius has spent half of this vacation working. He wants to be president more than just about anything. Then it'll be heartbreaking for him to learn that I'm considering Adrian. He's considering someone else besides his own son? Wait, what? You think Adrian would be a better president than me? He's a complete fool. He's your only blood relation, so he's the only other option. You don't seem to understand the urgency here. While you two may be able to fake your marriage from afar, tomorrow we go back home and you start making public appearances together. People will snip it out immediately if your marriage doesn't seem real. Just give me one more chance to prove you to you that I can do this. Your first appearance together is tomorrow at Miss Alvin's party. Convince everyone there that you two are in love and make things go well with Miss Alvin's son. Then we'll talk. Ooh, I just, oh, <laughs> I had to bite my tongue on this one. I'm really sorry about that. It's okay. Thanks for standing up for me. I mean it. For tonight, we have to sleep in the same bed. But I'll stay on my side and won't cross over into yours. Oh. Okay. Oh, does she want a little cuddle? Was she like, I just thought she'd like cuddle me, huh? Is that what you wanted, Ivory? I think you did. <laughs> yeah, she did. She tried to play it cool, like, nah, I don't want you. Oh, oh, they are cuddling. James, stop that. It tickles. <gasps> OMG. <gasps> she called him by her ex's name. Oh, girl, that is a never a good thing. Oh, sorry. You, you just smelled nice. <laughs> so creepy <laughs> uh let's say uh, uh, that's sweet of you i guess <laughs> it's time to go home your father wants you packed in the limo in 20 minutes okay miss cold-hearted lady just walks in we want you in the limo now for what it's worth i was actually starting to like you on this trip <laughs> me too you're actually not so bad. I like your outfit though, it's cute. <laughs> Back at the kingdom. Here we go. Try to convince, time to try to convince everyone that we're madly in love. I mean, I'm starting to fall in love with him, so maybe it won't be so difficult. As long as he doesn't ruin it by being a jerk. Whoa, um, th this is where you live? So do you now. Come on, there's someone I think you're really going to like. Mm, can I like anyone in Darius's family? Oh, is that the maid? This place looks familiar. This looks like the place from Royal Babies. A Royal Baby. Is this story connected? Oh, Mr. Darius, you're back. I was just feeding the horses. Ah, she's a sweet old lady. Is that what she is? This must be Ivory. Dear, you're absolutely lovely. <laughs> Thank you so much. Margaret practically raised me. She's worked for us my whole life. And it seems my abs and it's been my absolute pleasure. Though this boy used to have me doing more laundry than I could handle. <laughs> As a kid, always in the garden, kneeling in the dirt and planting flowers. You're into gardening? <laughs> I would have never guessed. Margaret, you're gonna embarrass me. He was so darn good at it, too. <laughs> oh, we're finding out uh, his deep, dark secrets. 
the real reason I wanted you to meet Margaret is because she's got an eye for fashion. She's made a lot of my mother's gowns. It's true. That's what I'm darn good at. <laughs> I was thinking she could help you get ready for Miss Alvance's bulb tonight. I've owed you an apology since I was rude to you at that cabin. So I may or may not have arranged for a special dress to be delivered. Oh, okay. I would look fabulous. Okay. Oh, wow. That dress is gorgeous. I can't believe this dress. I can't believe this room. The ceilings must be like 40 feet high. <laughs> Mr. Darius had the dress imported from Italy two days ago. You must be a very special girl. Wait, two days ago? Yes. Why? It's just that as of two days ago, I still wasn't too sure if, I, if he liked me. Oh, from the way he's been talking about you? I think he does. Very much. So wait, is Dar Darius in love with us? But he just doesn't know how to show love because he's never received it in his life? Hmm, give him a chance. He's slow to trust people, but he's incredibly loyal and caring once you get to know him. Hmm, anyway, will you wear the dress he got for you tonight? Let's see what the old dress looks like, just to get an idea. Oh, definitely going with the one Darius got us. Definitely. I mean, this dress compared to the other one is like unreal. So there we go. I'm going to try on Darius's dress. And you look stunning, dear. Will you wear Darius's special gift tonight? Of course I will. Take my gems. I think you've made the right choice. You're going to look lovely tonight. You'll have everyone staring. Thanks for all your help, Margaret. Oh, of course, my dear. I think you and I are going to be good friends. Just don't backstab me, Margaret, all right? Okay? Because then I'll have to kill an old lady, and I don't want to have to do that, because that's just rude. Okay, so time for the party. <clears throat> time to stand up straight, take a breath, mint, and I'll be good to go. Is he going to be shook by how lovely my dress? Oh, yeah, he shook. Wow. You think? Most definitely. <laughs> Aww ready to go that that was him being very sweet did he just kiss me on the cheek on purpose girl yes he did he kissed me on the cheek like, mm -hmm, like that <laughs> okay so this is miss alvin's house it's not like Darius's house but it's still very nice still a luxurious still a mansion all right darius did you close the door for her opening you better have it's time for you to have some manners Okay, here we go. Oh, she's going to be dropped that gorgeous compared to all these other people. Look at them. My dress is fabulous. This place is packed. Well, maybe if it becomes too much, we can go outside and garden a bit. <laughs> the shade. Oh, you're never going to let me lift this one down, huh? No, I'm kidding. I think it's sweet. I'm actually obsessed with gardening. Uh, let's see. I love growing my own vegetables. It's just so much more sustainable, you know? Wow, that's really amazing. Just like, um, never mind. That was a little weird. Why did he stop? Was he meaning to talk about someone else? Who knows? I have a surprise for you. A good surprise or a bad surprise? Just close your eyes. He already got me a surprise. I mean, look at the dress. Give him a chance. He's slow to trust people. Oh, all right. Three, two, one. Open. Rose. Oh my gosh, it's her best friend. Yes. How did you do this? Well, I may have asked your dad if there was anyone I could invite for you. <laughs> Thank you. Seriously. Oh, he's playing his cards right. Yes. The things are going really well for Darius. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. Considering the last time I saw you, we were getting caught at the bus station. Believe me, I'm on the same page. I had no idea what had happened to you. Um, same. All I knew was that you were being married into a family that might kill you. Where was the wedding? No idea. Who was the groom? Not a clue. I stress ate four bags of chocolate chip cookies in a single day. <laughs> 
Thankfully, his family hasn't tried to kill me. But his dad's pretty scary. Even Daria seems afraid of him. Yikes. How are things with you and Loverboy? He doesn't seem like a jerk. It's so hard to know. One second he's nice to me, the next he's cold again. I think he kissed me on the cheek for the first time when we left the house, though. Whoa. Maybe he's falling for you. I don't know. But if I'm being honest, I think I'm falling for him. Um, whoa, no more James? I need details. I just get this feeling in my stomach when I'm around him. Butterflies? Check. And this morning when we woke up, he had his arms around me. Spooning? Check, check. And I just find myself happy when I'm around him, even when he's annoying me. Oh yeah, you're in it. So what do I do? Do I tell him? Sorry to interrupt, would you like to dance with me? Uh, yas, I'd love to. <laughs> Obviously, I can't be like, yas, because then he'll be like, oh, I don't know if I want to marry you or be with you anymore. Stop that. <laughs> Rose knows. Rose knows. My, what a nice box step you've got there. Thanks. You know, it's weird. Not everyone I know thinks so. Why is she so much taller than him? <laughs> well, whoever they are, you probably shouldn't listen to them. Um, I wanted to tell you, this past week has been really nice. That game with you yesterday and waking up with you this morning. I think what I'm trying to say is that I'm happy to be getting to know you. <laughs> Me too. They just had their first kiss. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Darius, I'm so pleased to have you finally meet my son. This is James. Well, thank you for interrupting the moment. No. 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 No, 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 no. It took me a second to realize who that James was. But that's her ex-boyfriend, James. The James, he caught her cheating with. The one James is engaged to remember her. She walked in on James and the other girl. <gasps> wow. That is going to get really, really, really interesting. Anyway, you guys, we're going to stop it right there. I am shook right now. I don't even know. At the beginning of the story, there was a lady carrying a baby. That lady looked a lot like the person that James was with when she walked in on him cheating. So I'm wondering if this is all going to play a part now. How would she have not known that James is part of like this whole royalty family thing? And... Has it been confirmed that this story is connected to the royal baby? Because it sure seems like it. The house looks the same. The little horse area looks the same. Hmm. I wonder if all of this is going to be revealed next. Let me know in the comments down below what you think is going to happen. Obviously, she's going to fall in love with Arius. But it's just now. How is James going to ruin it? Because things have been going so, so well. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I hope you guys had fun watching. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and share. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!